hello guys and welcome to my channel um i know it's been a very long time i haven't done one so this one is going to be a long one so bear with me it's going to be a long video because it's going to be a get ready with me makeup tutorial and obviously i'm going to talk about my favorite products i was going to choose like five ten favorite products that i loved absolutely love this month but um everything in my makeup bag and people would say why your makeup bag is so heavy because this is my everyday makeup bag and everyone is like why do you carry so much and why is it so big well i actually do use almost every product in here and i'm gonna show you how i get ready and everything and why i love the products and every single product so to start off first thing i do it's um you know when you come out the shower i put some makeup makeup remover to remove everything that maybe i didn't take off good in the shower and everything and I first thing I do, I like to moisturize my face with some face serum. I'm always trying different ones, and this month, this is one one that I got in um in Birchbox. And I think I did talk about this Balance Me that I said I never heard of it. Still never heard of really of this brand, and it's um it's pretty good. I mean, it does have a funny smell. It kind of reminds me of Neutrogena. I don't know if you guys ever try Neutrogena acne products, but um, that's what I, I used to use. I used to have, while you were suffering from acne, especially now that I'm pregnant, I have a lot of acne coming out again, like a lot. So, um, but anyways, this just reminds me of that. It had like that kind of smell. Um, I also recently talked about um, this brush that I got, I think from Ipsy. Um, I believe it's supposed to be a crown a crown name brand and i thought that it was pretty cool because it had this this little tin right here sorry um so you could put your fingers and it makes it easier he also has it in the back so it's pretty cool i remember talking about it so this is the one i use for in the morning for my face to moisturize my face you know normally i use any face serum but like i said we're talking about my favorite products this um this month so this is the one I used this month. It does feel cooling. It does have like a cooling sensation feeling. And I like that in the morning. I really do. Because it makes me like it makes me feel like I'm awake. It wakes me up. It makes me have a good day. So I like all the morning products that have that cooling sensation. And it doesn't like burn or anything. I mean it's just serum. It's just to moisturize my face. Before I put all this products on my face so that's that and then second um obviously it's primers um i i i always use one primer but right now in my makeup bag i have two primers i have this bare minerals one that i got and i don't know if you can see a old face and a little time to sample primer that they sent me normally um this one well this one is almost done See, this is, but this is a clear gel. Is it oil free? It doesn't really say if it's oil free or not. I know a lot of, um, no, it doesn't really say. I know a lot of primers in this format are oil free or not. This one doesn't say it. Um, I think it's not oil free because I do kind of do feel my face oily throughout the day or later on at night. So I'm going to say it's not oil free. It's super soft, you know, just like, it reminded me of, um, of the Sephora primer. I used to love so much. I used to love the uh, gel form primer from Sephora. Before, I used to swear it was the best primer ever, and I fell in love with it because it was baby soft. But the Sephora one makes your face even softer, and I still believe to this day there hasn't been any primer I had tried that makes my face feel like baby soft face. Like super, super, super soft, like silky. So this reminds me of it, just the texture. Not that it really makes it soft, but reminded me of. This one, it's more like a creamy, just like more like a creamy white primer. Um, nothing special. See? It's more like creamy, watery. It is watery. I don't know why. So I don't like it too much. But like I said, it is in my makeup bag. And since this one is running out, sometimes I don't want to finish it all. 
I use this one. But normally that's that. Even though I do have to say I fell in love with the primer. And it has been my favorite primer this month. I think I bought it three times. I uh, don't have it right now because I just finished it. But I just finished ordering one. And it's the Hangover. The Hangover by Too Faced. Hangover X XR by Too Faced. I loved it. I loved it so much. I never wanted to try it because like I said. I thought because um, of the name. I was like oh wow Hangover. Whatever. No. It works. It really really works. It, first of all. Uh, it has no... No chemicals, it has no um, no pile of beams, it has no alcohol, it has no fragrance. It, it's, it's amazing, I love it. And it does have natural oils. It has coconut, coconut oil. So if you're allergic to coconut or any, or if it bothers you, you can't use coconut, unfortunately, then you wouldn't like that one. Don't try it. But I like it. It has natural coconut oil, so it smells like coconut. It does leave your face super, like bright and it does make you feel like home when i do feel like like i having a bad day or shit or, or i do kind of feel hangover i do put it on and i do it kind of does makes my face look brighter like like at least i'm not dead i don't look like a zombie um so anyways let's get it moving um don't have a foundation i'm wearing right now and i don't have a cc cream or bb cream i'm wearing at the moment and that's because of this favorite product I've been using it for like two years already or three. I'm in love with it. I love It's Cosmetics. They're absolutely my favorite brand right now. So I'm in love with this. I had samples. I used them all before. The uh, little sample is usually like this, kind of like this size, and it lasts me forever. So I decided to purchase the full size, which is pretty big, but somehow it's not lasting me as long. But um, I don't know. Maybe because it's bigger, a lot more comes out. Not sure. I do one pump. Because one pump, it's enough. It's enough to cover your whole face. See? So I use that. And I mean, it's a, it's, it's a CC cream. But it is full coverage. It's anti-aging. It has hydrating serum. So it already has serum. It already has uh, SPF. It's, um, it already has all this stuff. So it's, so it's pretty cool. So because of that, I don't, I'm not using... Another BB cream or CC cream or a foundation. And right now, my face has been um oily. Not too much because I never had oily skin. But mostly now, it is more red. I've been having a lot of redness on my face. And a lot of acne. A lot. So I do try to put it all over the face, the neck, and everywhere. This one blends in pretty good, blends pretty fast. Um, I, they, I really do think it is for coverage because I only put one coat. You don't have to go over and over and over. And I don't know. I use, the, I use it in, in the color tan. And I like it. See, I, I did have a lot of pimples and blemishes. And, I don't, and you can't really see them too much, which that's good, but I do have a lot now. Okay, followed by, um, I'm not going to say I'm in love with this, because I'm not in love with it, but I, this is the new Bare Minerals Foundation, powder foundation, um, uh, what color is this? I can't really tell the color, because since it's been in my makeup bag, and I use it, the name is gone, so I can't even really see the name. I think I, I, everything I get is like a tan. So I think it's like a tan. So I use this one. Um, now for that, I have a different brush. This is the one I got last month at Nipsey. Um, I love Luxie brand. They're so good. I had them for a long time. I keep getting them. Ipsy keeps sending them to me all the time. They're super, super soft. 
And um, since I had a lot of them, I do sell them. I try to sell them at my boutique or just give them away. But since I got this one last month, and it's pretty puffy and big, I decided to keep it. So for this one, like I said, since I'm not using foundation, I, I use this one over. Just to give it like that matte, powdery setting. But um, I don't really see a big, big difference. So I'm not going to say I'm in love with it at all even though um i got this in a in a makeup convention and i got two they gave me two so the lady was like oh you know like um instead of getting two of the same exact color you could get a darker one or lighter color and so it could contour your face and it will be nice but i don't know about contouring powdery so i said no and i got two of the same and i've been using both of them exactly the same um i use one at home and one on my everyday bag so you see, I mean, I don't see much of a difference because I, I put the foundation. But at least it kind of gives me that matte look. So that's fine. Another product I put next, it's one product that I did not like. It's not my favorite. And I know there was a big fuss and everything. I mean, I love this. All, I'm going to talk about a product about this that I loved. But this one um, by the MAC is MAC by Selena. It's the Tengo Cumbia um, com combo. It's supposed to be a bronzer and a blush. It's beautiful. And honestly, to be very honest, I, it wouldn't look like this. It would like, look super like perfect. Um, the reason why it looks messy and scratch and stuff is because I did that on purpose. I did it on purpose because I, I don't feel like it paints. I feel like there is no, it's not pigmented. I feel like no matter how much I go like this on my brush, I feel like it's a, I feel like if it was a toy makeup or face makeup, I don't seem to get anything on my brush. And even if I try to put it on, I don't see the difference. I don't see the makeup. So sometimes I'm like, am I bugging and there is no makeup that I finished it? Like, I can't see it. So, like, I try to, you know, touch it and I don't see. I don't see the color. I don't see the makeup. I don't see it. So, um, that's why it looks scratch. Sometimes I get, like, a piece of something and scratch it and then I could get some color off. So that's the reason why it looks like this. I didn't want to mess it up because it's beautiful. So I didn't want to mess it up. But, um, you know. I, I didn't like it. I feel like it's a little expensive. Not too much. It was like $35. So it's a little expensive. It's beautiful, but I don't seem to get that bronzer blush look. No matter how many times I go over with the blush. See, like, I, I don't seem to really get it. So I hate this product. Didn't like it. I would not just purchase it again. Well, it's just continue. It's not going to come out again, but, um... I don't know, maybe I will try all the MAC um, bronzes and MAC um, blushes, but not the Tengo Cumbia, which is actually my favorite name because I love that song. But that's a different story. But speaking of MAC Selena, I do have the MAC Selena um, lipstick, Amor Por Vida. This one, I'm going to take it all. Ta-da! I'm almost done with it. Like, literally, it's all. Like, that's it. And this is all I have left. If you can see. Only that little much left. So, um, I do love it a lot. Um, I'm not, like I said, to be really honest, I'm not the biggest fan of MAC. Um, lipsticks and MAC. Well, lipsticks, yes, but MAC products, I'm not, like, the biggest fan. Of course, I have them, and of course, I love them because they're, they're always... Doing it with the with the celebrities and I'm always supporting them, so I love it. But I love it because of that, because of the name, because of the celebrity. Love Lady Gaga ones, of course. Like Rihanna's, I like Miley Cyrus. I like all of them. But um, love Selena, of course. I had to have it. But this one is really different. The the moisture is really like really 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 soft. It really leaves my lips super soft. It gives me the moisture that I need. It's so moisturizing. So, like, I like it a lot. I don't think I've ever had a MAC product this soft and this, like, moist moisturizer on my lips. So, like, I love that. That's, like, a plus. And I will buy it again. And it's my go-to lipstick. And I wear it every day. So, I fell in love with that one. That has been my favorite um, 
lipstick. That is my favorite lipstick of the whole month. Then, like I said, since the Selena Tango Cumbia didn't do much of the work, I used the Too Faced bronzer. This is always going to be my favorite um, bronzers. Mm, because it's more like chocolate. I'm not a fan of chocolate. <laughs> I'm so weird. I know. I don't like chocolate, but I like the smell of chocolate on my makeup. But it's not that I'm a biggest chocolate fan. Nope. But I like it. And this one does paint. It does. It is pigmented. Like, you see? You can kind of see the difference. So I'm trying not to put too much. But the sum is coming in. I am a little whiter. Um, I know this is weird, but I do put some on my my breasts and my boobs. I like to put bronzer and shimmer on my boobs. So I'm always doing that. And like I said, since the Selena didn't do much of the work, I have my Too Faced blush called Love Lush. Love Hangover. Um, it's a cute pink peachy color. Um, this is really pigmented. It's really, really nice. I love it. I have a collection of royal blushes. Um, so I use this blush, this blush for my blush. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't say that right now. Um, I like to count to 10 because, like I said, it is pigmented and it's a lot of. A lot of product does come out, you see. So it is like you don't have to use a lot because a lot does come out. And this little buddy sucker lasts you forever. I've been using it forever. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is how I do it. And over my blush. And like I said, if you buy these, they'll last you forever. And they really do paint. And they're beautiful for the summer and spring. Um, like I said, it looks like I put a little too much. So then I like to blend it in with my other brush. Which is the one I, I showed you guys before. The Luxie 5-4 blush. Blush. <laughs> And that's that. Um, I know this year a lot of people have been into highlighters, so I have the Jeff Jeff Star um, Skin Frost Peach Goddess. I was selling these in my boutique, and they sell pretty good. They're really pigmented. And look, today I make my den that it's almost gonna finish. So, I have been using this ever since I got it. It was more glittery. Obviously, when it was new, it was way more glittery. But, it is really pigmented. See? I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there it is. So, I do get this. Put it over my cheekbones. A little bit on my forehead. And I don't know if you could tell, but it does have a little shimmer. I think. So I love them. I love these. So if you guys ever need them, I'm. Well, I don't know. I sold out right now, but I could probably get more. So that's great. Now it's um, concealer time or eyebrows. It's a concealer. My favorite concealer has been for a while now the Bye Bye Under Eye by It's Cosmetics. You can't even see the name. The name is so completely gone, but it's supposed to look like this. This is the new one that just came out, but this is the Bye Bye Under Eye Illuminator. It's also the, like a concealer. It's a full coverage, full coverage, um, anti-aging, waterproof concealer. But this is the first one that came out. This is also full coverage, 
Yeah, it's the same thing. Full coverage, um, anti-aging, waterproof concealer with vitamin C and K. Yeah. So they do last forever. Um, but I also have been using a Clinique, a Clinique concealer that I was selling in my boutique. This one is a little lighter to, of, to my skin tone. Why is it like that? Well, is that a hair or what is this? I don't know. But I like the applicator. It's pretty, pretty cool. You can just dab it. So I use these on days I don't want to use my makeup, so my, my it's, because I love it's cosmetics so much. And it's about to finish because I had it for a long time already. So that's I'm happy. I got the new one. But I just ordered more. I have this lovely, lovely, lovely blush that I'm in love with. You see how it is? It's like, like ankle. So it's so cool. I use this for my concealer. And because it is a concealer, BM, um, BMD 212 by Royal. Like I said, I have a lot of the products, a lot of the brushes. So I'm in love with this one. I just put a little bit because, you know, you don't need much concealer. Even, even that was too much. I used to hate concealers because I didn't know how to put them. Like, I'm like, oh my God, I put too much. And I didn't know how to blend it in good. And then I would just end up wiping it off with my finger. And then that's a waste because you just take it off and waste all your makeup. So with this with this brush, since it's perfect, you can blend it in perfect. Get it start from the top all the way to the bottom. And like try to get it under the under eye. But it's really easy to blend. But you saw I just put one drop and even one drop, it's a lot. So you have to constantly like keep blending it. And it will go away, but so I had to top it a little bit because it takes me a while to blend it in. Um, I use that one only. I'm not using. I'm not gonna use my bye bye. Illuminated because it's usually it's the same thing and just a little lighter because I think it does come with a little shimmer I was using it like eyeshadow or I was using it as a highlighter, but um, it's pretty good still love it Moving on to eyeliners. Um, if you know me my number one eyeliner of all times like forever has always been the Sephora eyeliner Look how little it is because I I'm almost done. I do I use them a lot I think it's the best eyeliner ever look that was just one. And that's that's going really light because I know how pigmented it is this is. And um I didn't want to like do it too hard. But um it's pretty good. See. I don't think it's waterproof, but it's it's amazing. It was my favorite eyeliner ever of all time. I think I bought it like a hundred times. But this month I I fell in love with this one. Um like I said, this is my everyday makeup. I'm sorry, so that's why it looks like this. But this is my more Jacobs. This is more Jacobs, the new more Jacobs eyeliner. I totally fell in love with it. It really does work. <clears throat> it lasts all day and it is pigmented. So, look. See how, like, jet black it is. And it's good. You just have to go over a few times. And it's pretty good. So you see. I really like it. Um, moving on to eyebrows. Okay. Here's where my little problems 
um, studs. Because as much as I love makeup and as much as I know makeup and I know how to put makeup on and everything, I suck at eyebrows. I don't know how to put eyebrows. I suck. So I do use three, four, I use four items. Um, I'm in love with the brand Essence. Essence is a drug, drugstore um, brand. You can find it in um, in Target. And it's, I, I, ended up, I ended up loving it. I love the mascaras. See, this is another Essence. They're pretty big and bulk and bulky. And they do work. So I'm in love with all the eye makeup. Like, it's cheap and affordable and it works. So uh, this is the Lash Ball Gel Mascara. Just like to go over it. Up. I type them up. With the gel, like I'm saying, I don't have the best shape in eyeballs, and I don't know how to do my eyeballs that good. You know, I don't like to wipe it off because I feel like I've just wiped it off, but it's wet, it does give you that wet feeling, so I do wipe it off, anyways. Um, moving on to my favorite um, new product from Benefit. Benefit gave me brows. It's this is a full size. This is a full size um eyebrow blush. It was uh, I don't think it says it's number five. Like I said, since it's all of this is my everyday makeup, everything is like gone and wore out, so I can't really see it. And just go over my eyebrows. Oh, up. And down. I don't know why this is like a piece. And down. So I'll start from the top. Flush up. And once you get to like this corner, flush down. I mean, that's how I do it. I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't, I'm not too good at eyeballs. And then, my other favorite product is the Anastasia um, brown pen. I'm in love with this one. I think this is Universal Brown. Yeah, Universal Deep. Universal Deep Shade Brown. This one I love. I like to go like this way before I use it. Shake it up a little. And... Go over the the parts that I miss with the with the pen, with the brush with the Anastasia brush. I feel this is more pigmented, gives it more the the bold color and defines the shape way more. That's why it's always gonna be the best eyeball makeup. I do believe Anastasia makes the best mom eyeball makeup. Well, I don't know. Now I've been watching more tutorials, more makeup videos, and I see other products that people absolutely love better than the Anastasia. Something smells funny on my makeup. I don't know. And um, that's it. That's all I'm going to use today. Like I said, I kind of suck at eyeballs. But sometimes when I want it to look more bold and look more like, mm, I use the... Um, this little buddy, this little guy. This is the Pixie um, Endless Brow Brow Gel Pen. It's just to go over it, so it's pretty good. But I don't know. I didn't use it that much, so it's not my favorite. Moving along to mascaras. Um, what's my other one? Okay, right now I do have my eyelashes, so. I'm not going to use all my mascaras, but I do use three because I just can't get enough of the Too Faced Better Than Sex one. Now that I can't get enough, more than I couldn't get rid of it, I had like three of them at one point, and um, I lost one in the bus, and I ended up with this one. It's this little small sucker. It's small, but I like the applicator. It's fluffy. You can see. So I like it. It, it is really good. Um, I don't know about being better than sex, but it's pretty good. 
Um, like I said, I'm in love with it's it's cosmetics. So this is a this is the it's super superhero mascara. This is a sample I got like on the makeup convention. It's not the full size, and this one is more it's more bold, but you see the applicator more like a regular one, but it is darker. I don't know something keeps smelling funny to me here, and like I said, I love and since the this is big. It's a it's a big um mascara, so I like these. These are my top three. Um, if I I don't know because I use these two guys for the bottom ones, and I'm gonna put some on now, and I use this one for the top, and like I use them together. First, I put the better than sex, then because it's it I think it separates them more. Like it it gets more one by one since it's like like this. So I, I use this one first to separate and make sure I get all the little hairs. Then um, this one is more bold. It has more color and it's darker. So then I go over it with this. And then I give it the ultimate finish with this one. So that's how I do my eyelashes. And I'll put some now at the bottom. I'm going to stop the video. I don't know why it's not. Moving along, I have always used um, the I call it by Sephora. This is the 24 carat one. I always get the 24 carat ones. But um, I've been getting sick of them. Like I said, I've been using them for years. So I think I... What brand is this? I tried a new one. I think it's a Wet n Wild. I'm not saying it's better. But I like to grab better. You could grab it better. So I've been using this one. I don't know, I think it's time to also get my eyelashes retouched because they're starting to look funny. I just try to crawl them and they look funny. I should have had not touched them because now I think they look kind of funny. But, um, whatever, moving on. A product that I'm absolutely always going to love like always, always gonna love, no matter what. And I'm not a the biggest elf um, lover. I love this pen. This is the Elf um, Clear Makeup Eraser pen. I love it. It's it is it's amazing. It does work. Um, I by now that I was trying to put the eyeliner, I messed up a little bit at the bottom. And with this, you just go over it a little bit. And it wipes it off completely. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you with my hand. See how this one, the Sephora eyeliner, put it on and it wouldn't come off. So for the makeup that it's hard to come off or waterproof, this sucker takes it all out. See, 